Okay, probably my, one of my favorite and one of my least favorite implements, <laughs> period. <laughs> Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here. In today's video, I'm gonna take my Coyote RX 7320 tractor and my Titan implement, now iron ore, heavy duty, 15 foot, 5,600 pound rotary cutter slasher for my friends in Australia, uh, bush hog for those that like to kind of call a tissue a Kleenex. Anyway, this is the setup. Uh, we're looking at about 16,000 pounds right here rolling through these hills in Tennessee. And if you're new to the channel, we're family five in middle Tennessee, got about 125 acres and we like to hunt fish, all kinds of fun things in the outdoors. But this like 35 acre, Sanctuary, I guess for lack of a better term. This is where we, we like to let this grow up. You know, it's not really good hay ground. It's hard to farm. It's just really, really hilly. The rabbits love it. The squirrels love it. The deer will drop their fawns here. Turkeys thrive here. Quail, all kinds of upland and game. So this is just a great place to be. So if you're saying to yourself, why would you cut it if that's what it is? Well, once a year, we've got to cut it back, get all this thorny brush cut back, all the woody, really kind of thick things coming up. That has to get knocked back. And within a matter of weeks, this is going to grow back up and be cover again. But it'll get the thorns and the really, really thick stuff that make it to the point where, you know, this won't handle it anymore then we have to start talking about like a forestry mulch or something like that so anyway today's video is just gonna be a beautiful day here in middle tennessee riding a tractor and you know these are the kinds of days where you kind of fool yourself into buying a, an open station tractor because it'd be nice to be out in an open station today because it's beautiful but you give it about three or four more weeks i'm gonna be really glad i have that cab but anyway uh if you're new to the channel give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button come along so in the future we'd love to have you just come join the friends of the farm in the meantime we're just gonna have some fun out here mowing so Enjoy the mowing footage and let's get to work. Before we really get into uh, all the mowing and all the super fun stuff there, I wanna do a quick walk around. Again, this is a Coyote RX 7320 tractor. I bought this tractor, it was not given to me. This is not a sponsored video. I bought the mower, that was not a, this is not a sponsored video on any of this stuff. So all of this stuff, your friend Joe the farmer paid for with hard earned money and I can say that I've been very happy with all of it. So I'm gonna leave uh, some links in the description. I don't get any kickbacks, I don't get any help from that, but we are gonna get a lot of questions about like, hey, where'd you buy it? Do you like it? That kind of stuff. I'll leave some stuff in the description where you can look at that. We have tons of videos on this machine. I've had this for about two and a half years now. It's kind of like, like I said, my Goldilocks tractor. It's like not too big, not too small. It really does everything I need it to do. Uh, it doesn't take up a ton of barn space. You know, it, it's great for tilling small gardens, but also pulling something like this. This is a 15 foot Titan implement, which is now iron ore. They've rebranded because there's another Titan company that was, you know, getting confused. And this is all made in Tennessee. So this is welded in Tennessee. The gearboxes, of course, are not, but uh, this thing is built by iron ore. And this thing is a hoss. If you look at some of the iron and some of the welds on there, I mean, this is a absolute beast. Uh, we bought this last year, did a couple of videos on it. My dealership that I bought my tractor from and this from Larry Stove Sand Equipment, they actually let me take this out here and said, hey, film some videos with it. See if you like it. And if you like it, you can buy it and I liked it, so I bought it. Anyway, again, going back to this, this is about 35 acres. It's hilly. I had a lot of comments in the last video saying, hey, you're going so slow. That was the first time I've ever used this thing. You put 6,000 pounds behind your Subaru and see how you feel. Uh, but as far as this goes, I'm gonna probably get this done in about you know 60% of the time I did the first time because I feel much more comfortable with it. I know where this land is, but again, you have to watch out for dips and prairie dogs or <laughs> armadillos or whatever have burrowed and buried something there. So over here, hugging this tree line, way too steep up there to put anything on. I just let that grow up really in that corner. But as far as all of this, I should be able to get right up there and this 15 foot width should make this job real easy. So anyway, we're not going to really do a whole lot of talking. Got a lot of mowing to do. And the truth is, as this grows up all of this brush when it gets really thick with the, the grasses i don't know that this 73 horsepower tractor with 62 to the pto is going to turn that 15 foot bat wing so i'd like to get this thing knocked out it's these kinds of things you know these thorns that come in super thick and it's great cover and it's nice right now for wildlife but in another year or two it's going to be impassable for anything so anyway we're gonna get to work in the air conditioned cab of my track <laughs> All right, we're cruising. I think it looks really good. I've already seen a deer running up it. And I'll kind of explain what I did with these little brush patches. This one over here, I can never get that. It's just too steep. It's it's white knuckle and it's kind of scary. So getting that very top, you know, over that little brush area, that's cut. But over here, I left a square here in the center just for kind of, you know, there's not a lot of thorns and stuff in there. It's mostly just broom sedge. So I left that for 
you know, some bunnies and some, you know, turkeys and stuff like that to kind of hide out in. I need to come out here tomorrow morning and just get the backside. That's a lot of thorns and everything. It shouldn't take me very long. But we're running out of daylight. It's getting a little cool. And uh, to be quite honest, it's been about four and a half hours in the tractor. So I'm ready to head back to the house. Have a nice, pretty Uber driver bringing me back. And I'll come out here in the morning or something like that. Just to knock this out. It should only be another hour-ish. Other than that, I guess we'll see you in the morning. Well, it's morning. <laughs> I would have been out here a little bit earlier, but I had to chase some turkeys around and they saw me. So that'll be another weekend. But anyway, we're going to head out to the tractor. It's actually a little chilly now. It's like 45 degrees versus like 80 yesterday. So it's Tennessee weather for you, but uh, not a whole lot more to do. We're just going to pretty much, you know, button up the bush hogging job. And like I said, there's a couple patches that I want to leave for wildlife, but we're going to get the really thick stuff down there by the Narnia food plot. And then I need to spray off the cutter. So uh, y'all come with me and let's have some fun. <laughs> successful drive. I'd say what we're doing is working for wildlife. What, five, six turkeys and a uh, really pretty young deer in a minute of driving. So anyway, you kind of, again, revisiting this. Next day always kind of looks better because everything starts to kind of stick up a little bit. You see where you missed and where you didn't miss. But uh, I think we did a pretty good job. And again, I'm going to leave all that up there. Uh, a lot of this is also for sight lines. You know, when you're in that blind up there, all that brush in the hill, I'm going to have to think about that this year. Y'all remind me when hunting season's coming up that I need to cut all that stuff. There, there's deer and animals that will bed in these uh, little islands. A lot of people will actually plant switchgrass and some other things to have these little islands, but for us, it, it's hard to tell on camera. I've had a lot of people give me a hard time, like, oh, why don't you just hay that? That's a waste of ground. Well, this is probably the best part right here. The rest of it is just impossible. Like, you're not gonna hay this stuff. You spit out a round bale, and then it's rolling down a hill, 2,000 pounds, you know, going 20 miles an hour down the hill. Something's gonna stop it. What's gonna stop it? I don't know what's gonna stop it, but I don't wanna find out. So anyway, this is really the spot I wanna get. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm okay having some brushing stuff around here. I really just wanna get a lot of this kind of trash along the fence line. It helps me when I'm trying to check on fences and not abuse the equipment. So anyway, okay, they did a good job. It ran hot yesterday, not gonna lie, it ran hot. I really need to get this done with this size cutter and this much greenery. This needs to be done February, March, not in April. So lesson learned, we got it done. So let's get her started up. The glow plugs go for a second. No problem. Well, sorry if the audio is not as good now, but apparently 45 degrees is too hot for a GoPro, so my other one overheated. This is a Grand Falls pressure washer. If you follow the channel, you saw me install this thing. They sent this to us to test out, and it has actually been a pretty awesome pressure washer. It's not the most powerful, but when it comes to this retractable hose and all that stuff, this thing is lights out. It is a cool, cool pressure washer. So we're gonna use it to get this thing cleaned up. Just doing a quick walk around. All this stuff in here right here, We've got to get this stuff out because this is all acidic. You know, uh, we talked about the grass being acidic. Any of these joints, I just want to get as much of this stuff off as possible. Just make the deck last longer. The gearboxes on these things pretty much never wear out. It's always the deck that gives you a hard time. So let's do it.
the pressure washer is doing a good job. Wouldn't say it's doing a great job. I think I have low pressure. Maybe it could be because I'm on a well too, but uh, I'm, I'm missing some of my higher pressure heads. I have a feeling they're buried in a barn somewhere and I'm gonna have to go looking for them. But right now this will have to do. I really just want to get the dust and the dander off. So anything that's acidic like that, just wash it off, rinse it off, be done with it. But uh, I do appreciate y'all coming with me today, enjoying some time on the tractor. Now, it was really over a day and a half and getting that field mode and we're gonna have so much more opportunities to kind of do some setups back there and put some ladder stands back there do some fun stuff but with that it's time to call this video done appreciate y'all watching make sure you hit that like button on the way out make sure you subscribe if you're new or if, you know you've been watching for a while and you haven't committed yet we would appreciate you doing that and i will catch you on the next one i'm joe the farmer we out <laughs>